When we fight, remember, in our struggle, we are also fighting for white women who are excluded from the economy by white African males who have no regard for females. And who, by the way, are very big on domestic violence. They beat them every Friday and make them cancel cases every Monday. After drinking clip drift and coke, they go and attack their wives. So those women, those white women are waiting for the EFF to come and rescue them from a racist masculinity of white Afrikaner males who think that life revolves around them. So we hate nobody. That's why we fight for white women. So our constituency include white females. Our constituency include the white hobos that we meet on the streets. When you talk about the EFF, they say they don't want the EFF because it wants to take the land away from them. Which land? You are at the robot. Which land are we going to take from you? You own no land. We want to take the land from these people who are manipulating land ownership in Stellenbosch and give you a potion. You are not born a, a white hobo. You've got the skills. We can give you a piece of land and you work on it. So, Working class means exactly that. Working class does not mean race. It means a white hobo which does not own the means of production belongs to the EFF. So every white person who doesn't own the means of production belongs to the EFF. Meaning 90% of white people belong to the EFF because in the white community it's only 10% of whites who own the means of production. So, you can't say you derive your ideological tools of analysis from Lenin and still view people, these white, landless people as white people, they must be viewed as the working class. So, at all material times, the survival of this organization depends on the usage of the Leninist Marxist tools of analysis. Do not use feelings, do not use your personal relationship to make a political determination. At all times, use political tools of analysis to analyze a political situation so that you are able to identify the enemy. 